So hey there, everybody. As always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host. Normally, we're talking about building our small drone business, our small imaging business. And today, I just wanted to catch folks up because it's been almost two weeks since I did my last update here. Did not mean for that to happen, but I've got some great excuses or uh, great reasons why I've been missing. And one of the biggest ones has to do with the fact that we've been getting hit with that summer heat here in Arizona. Even in northern Arizona, it can heat up. So while we were starting to work with the Mavic 3 Enterprise and starting to put together a new class series, we had to delay things because some of the extreme heat going on. I don't like flying my drone in extremely hot weather when you're getting up against, you know, the rec manufacturer's recommendations. So when we started breaking 100 degrees here, I was just said to myself, we'll wait on the testing until it cools off. Finally, things have cooled off and we've been able to get to some of our client projects. So today is kind of a wrap up. Where have I been? And welcoming us back to the channel because we've got some upcoming, um, upcoming new classes and upcoming new videos. So we'll talk about that. But so one of the job sites that we had actually held off on, I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this. Um, we had been contacted several weeks ago to document a home for sale. And this was something beyond just a home. This is a giant lodge. This place is absolutely amazing. Um, really remote location, kind of hard to access. And we had a realtor from Sedona who's uh, representing this property get in touch. Just wanted some aerial images. And while we were out on location, I said, you know, we're going to do a little bit of video too um, to showcase this place because, you know, this is a crazy, crazy home location. Absolutely stunning. Could be a great bed and be breakfast or something else. But so after we did our imaging, we did our stills and we did our video, put together a little um, video fly through for the owners and for the realtor. The response we got was absolutely amazing. So we went out there, we brought uh, the Mavic 2 Pro along with us, and we also brought the Avada. And I did make some use of the Avada and the customers were thrilled. So how thrilled were they? Well, the um, the realtor let us know after watching the video, uh, the price we quoted them, uh, they wanted to give us a, uh, a tip basically. So um, they, they doubled our fee. So even though we had already made an arrangement with them on the fees for coming out for the day, um, they liked this so much that they just said, you know, we're, we're just going to double the amount that uh, the invoice was for. So that was awesome. I really appreciate the fact that they appreciated the work we did for them. And, you know, if you do a little extra for your clients, you know, you usually quote them and, you know, on what you're going to be flying, what you're going to be documenting, maps, models, video stills, and when you come in with just a little bit more for them, not only do they appreciate it, but you hear back from them again, especially from the realtors that you work with. So I wanted to share this one with you. So as things were cooling off, this was one of our first flights where I wasn't too worried about the temperatures. We are getting into monsoon season as well. So that was great. There we go. We're going to close that one up. And we did, in fact, let's go ahead and we got to start working with the, um, with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. So I'm just pulling this up on screen. I'm just going to, so we finally got out in the field and actually got to do a little bit of testing with this. I'm just going to open this screen up here. So on this part, I'm actually recording this out on location for our uh, Mavic 3 Enterprise classes, the M3. And we have started putting together more material. Now up on YouTube, we've got four videos about getting the Mavic 3 Enterprise and then some initial setups. This particular video was shot just a couple of days ago. We went out to play with it, um, to give it a whirl, and to also get a feel for, are we losing anything because of the fact that the video settings are so limited? Um, you know, are we losing anything in the stills? So we came out on location, and I'm actually in the background. You can't hear it right now, and that's okay. I'm talking through the setups, and then I actually... Before we do the flight, we go through all of the controller settings and all the settings one more time just to double check ourselves in the field and make sure that we're good to go. So watch for that. I'll be making an announcement in the near future for some of these videos, but I'm just going to get myself right through here. You can see that it's a little breezy. By the way, when we fired up the props on this thing, I just have to let you know, so quiet, so incredibly quiet even when I get to the point where I'm lifting off and I'm shooting video and I'm doing the screen capture through the controller. 
so that you can see what's going on. But um, still a much quieter drone than any of the other drones that we own here. So the Phantom 4, uh, Phantom 4 Pro 2, uh, the Mavic 2 Pros, the Avada. This by far is the quietest of them. So I did have this on recording and, you know, this is the screen recording. This isn't the final video. I have to say the video looked really good. So there we are. We're just uh, parked right in the shade for a few minutes while we're out there. By the way, that uh, Pro Controller also performs really well in uh, air, in the Arizona, um, you know, the super hyper blue skies and everything. I was incredibly impressed with the fact that I could see everything on screen. Usually I'm using an iPhone to um to view the video but now with this uh, new controller absolutely blown away by it and it's really nice to have some confidence in the fact that i can do the screen recording while i'm actually working with the drone as well so i'm going to scroll this up and we're just going to get ourselves we're going to let it go ahead and lift off here and so as you can see we're doing a um a slow flight up and I just wanted to really get some feedback and check on screen and the color quality was looking really good to me, even though I've got just about no options whatsoever that I can actually affect for the video side of this drone. But um, it seems to be doing OK on the color quality as I was passing around. I did get the feeling that maybe it's a little washed out in the foreground. Then again, it might just be me and I might be being picky. Now, as I was going through this, this is for one of our new classes. So you can see, you know, we've got, by the way, the monsoonal cloud build starting up. Hey, it's uh, August now, so we really do need some more monsoon activity to bring some more water into the area. But I do switch over from the video, and so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to just really quickly, let's get through this. All right. So now we're going to switch that over to the still images. I landed it for a moment. There we go. So I actually set up for the still. This is not a tutorial on using this, by the way. This is just catching up with where we're at and letting you know what's coming. So one of the things I found incredibly interesting while playing with this, I've never been excited about Zoom. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there who are incredibly excited about the Zoom possibilities with Mavic 3 Pros. I am pointing at another client site, actually, right out in the distance. That client site's down in here. It's a little log cabin. And what I'm going to do, we're actually a good distance from there. Oh, I hit the mega zoom out to Granite Mountain. And this is what I wanted to show you right here. So we did some still images as well. But look at this zoom in on this bed and breakfast log cabin. What, what an incredible zoom. So I've got it zoomed at 8.1x right now and you know not the highest quality of course it's gone beyond the uh the uh, 7x there but one of the other things i panned around we're borrowing one of our favorite campgrounds again um and there we go so we lined ourselves up i just want to show you so this is a class a rv down here we're on the wide 1.0x and now we're going to go ahead and zoom into this and I was very impressed with the zoom level on this. So just give it a sec. Wow. So right now we're at zoom 1.7. Let's see that zoom come all the way in. That is absolutely amazing. So I did a couple of still photos of this particular rig. And amazing. The uh, quality up to the 7X was fantastic. So I wanted to share that one with you. So we will be announcing more stuff on the Mavic 3 Enterprise in the near future. Let's go ahead and click away from this one because I do have other really good excuses as to why I've been missing. And once again, it's not really excuses. Um, We're doing a lot of different flights for our, uh, for our clients. One of the things that we did recently was we actually had to go to a grand opening of the Solstice Project. So that's another one of our projects that we're working on. So we did some video work for them on the grand opening. We documented how many people were there, and there was a ton of folks there. And sorry, I had this set up before with, um, let me see here. I had this set up before with a bunch of other videos, but because I just closed QuickTime, I closed it on all of them, but that is okay. So just panning around here real quick, giving people kind of the feeling and the views that they're going to have from these particular new homes. So last Thursday, we were out on the location for um, three and a half to four hours. 
um, doing video, doing interviews, and doing stills and just showing how many people showed up for the event. And there was a ton. And then behind that, now that the two models are open, we've gone through to do some shooting. So we actually went through there yesterday when there weren't crowds just to do some standard stills and also to do a couple of 360 tours um, through two of the completed homes. So we've got two model homes available now. And I was just testing out some ideas with HDR. When we do interior work, we do a lot more flambient work lately. So we do bring portable strobes with us. But I wanted to see how far I could push things just straight HDR on a Canon M50 and then doing post-production in Lightroom after. And I'm fairly satisfied with these. Now, while I was shooting these, Jody was in the other house shooting uh, 360s with our Theta Z1 using the dual fisheye plugin, which is a fantastic tool if you're wanting to generate HDR DMGs. But I had a good bit of fun. It's been a little while. It's been a few weeks since I last shot interiors. Almost everything we're doing is always drone related. Um, time lapses, maps, models. If you're familiar with this channel, you know what I'm talking about. But I thought I'd share some of the still images as well with you, just to give you a feel for some of the other things that we do. So we always like to be able to be a full service provider to our clients. And that's something as you're building your drone business, you're gonna need to figure out the niches that you wanna be in and what additional skills you bring to the table for your customers. So there we go. And um, by the way, the views out the windows, um, they're real. So we had to, you know, we had to do a little editing to pull them back. So, cause they were blown out coming in, but that's the actual scenes outside of these windows. So when we're looking at some of these, that is the scene. So when folks are in that living room and they look out that window, they are gonna see those uh, mountains in the distance. We like to keep our stuff as realistic as possible. You can get really heavy handed with edits in, uh, for real estate. I know, and I've seen a lot of them where they just push the saturation button all the way to 100% and call it good. Um, we like to represent the house as it is. So what we're seeing is what we try to relay. Not as poppy as some other real, real estate photographers, but hey, Everyone has their different tastes and preferences. So the type of work we do appeals to some, maybe it doesn't appeal to others and vice versa. You know, other folks will do that heavy handed stuff that we just don't like. By the way, these homes are completely staged. They're not lived in. So all this was brought in for that big event um, to give people a feel for what they could do with these uh, two particular model homes. So, so. Like I said, we have been busy. I've given you some of the excuses as to what we've been doing. So doing more flights for clients, doing more mapping and modeling flights, um, doing Zoom conferences with uh, students and other folks interested in working with us. And um, yeah, that's been about it. And hiding from the heat. Now that it's cooled down, we're going to get back to working on that M3E class series. And we'll be letting you know about it here on YouTube. So that's where I've been. I hope you guys enjoyed this little catch up wrap up and a look inside of some of the things that we've been doing lately. And all these things are kind of, you know, they're our basic bread and butter of what we're doing at azdrone.net. See y'all again real soon and have a great week.